Welcome to episode 199, 199 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today I'm going to explain to you why I'm wearing a coat. We're making our way through the fog of life and Clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. (laughs) Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. All right, the reason I'm wearing a coat is because it is like 8, 10 p.m. And it's Friday when I'm recording this right now. It was a long day. It was a long week. Working hard, leaning all the way in. My wife came and picked me up with all the kids. Five kids in my house right now. Five. And we were bringing two of my oldest downtown to go ice skating in the middle of Syracuse. And then it, things were falling apart. Kids were crying. We had a baby crying because he was hungry. We had a toddler crying because he was a toddler. We dropped my kids off downtown. A little anxious about leaving them downtown. Dealing with a little bit of that. And we're trying to get our way through the city and the traffic. Felt my temperature going up. And I don't usually get that way, but started to turn green a little bit. And then we were like, we need to find somewhere to eat because we had to go back and pick up my older kids. And we live like 20 minutes outside town. We were like, oh, do we even go out to eat? Do we just go home? Do we just suck it up? If you're a parent, you've probably been in this situation. Even if you're not a parent, you know, and like, when is it time to just call it a day and just forget it? And so we were driving and we passed this little diner. It's called The Gym in Syracuse. And it was open. And we're like, you want, you want to try this? And so we pull in the parking spot and we walk in and it was like a magical holiday diner all of a sudden. It's dark outside. The diner's full of people, a lot of like singles sitting at the counter, sipping some coffee. There's Christmas music on. There's Christmas trees. The decorations are everywhere. You can smell the diner food. You can hear the clinking of the silverware and the booths on the one side and the counter on the other side and the tables in the back. And we sat down and we're like, this is actually pretty cool right now. And then we ordered some food and we got like breakfast food and we got a burger and breakfast food and an omelet. And my toddler just wanted bacon. So we made that happen. And we had some coffee, decaf, because it's too late for regular. And all of a sudden we found ourselves having an amazing moment, an amazing time just with that kind of food and that kind of environment. And all of a sudden, that situation that was like, oh, this is terrible, turned into, well, things really worked out. We just actually had a moment and a memory that we'll probably remember for a long time. And it was just a very simple memory. But something about it almost felt like we were in a movie. The only missing thing was like a light snow outside. That would have like made it, made it like the movie, movie perfect. And my wife and I started talking about how we, it's so easy to feel like our day is going a certain way because a bad thing's happen. A bad thing happens or a disappointing thing happens. I was feeling disappointed before we even went to dinner because we were supposed to get our power hooked up at the new building and the new studio that we're building right now. And we've been waiting and waiting. It wasn't hooked up. Oh, this, this. It's easy to get discouraged about things and let it bring you down and let one little thing change your day, change your attitude, change your frequency, change your mentality. And when someone's like, oh, that's really bad that that happened. The real question is, how do do you know what kind of day it's going to be? How do you know what is going to come from the one thing that happened? Chances are if those, actually, I'm thinking of it right now. If the kids weren't crying like they were, I probably would have made different decisions on where to turn inside the city, you know, and you turn into a lot of one-way streets. So once you make a decision, it kind of dictates your next couple of turns. Because I wasn't really paying attention because I was trying to like manage the, the environment and the kids and the stress. And I made a turn that I probably wouldn't have made. Actually, I know I wouldn't have made it. I would have went right. Instead, I went left because right was the quickest way home. And that's where I was going to go. But in the moment, I made a left. And the only reason we passed that diner is because I made the left. And before we knew it, I saw the diner we pulled in. So this is going to be a shorter episode today, but that just hit me. And I was like, this is what I want episode 199 to be. I want it to be fresh when it just happened. The things in our lives that disappoint us, the things in our lives that frustrate us, we can never, ever, ever know what is right on the other side of that. But the one thing that we can know and can control is how we react to it, is how we relax in the middle of it, 
how we adopt the mentality and the perspective and the clarity that we don't know which way the, the directions and the decisions we make in life are going to take us. However, if we're not willing to relax in it, if we're not willing to keep it steady and move along and just be open to the fact that this actually might out end up being a really good day and start being grateful for the things that we have and grateful for the good things in our life and grateful for the situations that are upon us because there, and even in the situation where my kids were crying and it was a little stressful, there was unbelievable amounts of things to be grateful for. How about a healthy family? Kids healthy enough to cry. Kids healthy enough to be out and about in the winter weather. Kids healthy enough and having friends and opportunities to go downtown to go ice skating because we live in a city that does nice things like that. And we have a car to drive around in so we can drop them off there and we have the finances that we can go out to dinner. I mean, you could just go on and on and on and on, listing out the, the gratitude, listing out the things that you can be grateful for. And when you adopt those mentalities, guess what? That little diner with the perfect music and the perfect vibe and the perfect menu and the perfect sounds and that perfect little experience and memory that you'll have might be just around the next turn. And that's what I wanted to share with you right now on episode 199. 200's next week. I have no idea who it's going to be, what it's going to be, but I do know that it's going to be. Until next week, I hope you have an amazing time being thankful for the things in your life and be willing to see and believe that there's a good thing around the next corner if you let it. I'll talk to you next week.